What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of stuff has happened in the last 24 hours that we absolutely need to cover. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have two new tropical storms out in the Atlantic Ocean. We have a tropical depression that has formed, and we have two new areas of interest that have a 70% chance of development in the next two days. So, here's what we have going on. This is about to get very wild, so you guys are going to want to strap yourselves in. We have Tropical Storm Emily out in the Atlantic Ocean. We have Tropical Storm Franklin in the Caribbean Sea and is anticipated to hit Hispaniola. Tropical Depression 6 is sitting near the Lesser Antilles. It is expected to dissipate in the next few hours, so I wouldn't be too worried about that. And then we have Invest 91L that is in the Gulf of Mexico right now. And then we have another area of interest that is off the coast of Africa near the Cabo Verde Islands that is expected to develop in the next seven days or so. So we're going to be covering all of this in a very brief amount of time so that way we can get as much information out to you as quickly as we can. So here's the situation. We're going to start with Tropical Storm Emily. That's the strongest system we have right now. We're going to give you the quick public advisory. It currently has winds of 50 miles per hour, minimum central pressure of 1,001 millibars. It is moving west-northwest at 10 miles per hour. Tropical storm force winds extend out 185 miles from the center right here. So that's the situation we got right there. It is expected to become a post-tropical cyclone in the next couple of days while being no threat to land over here. So that's the first one out of the way. There's the cone. Next one we're going to talk about is Franklin as this has the immediate threat to land right here, the most immediate threat rather. So here's the situation we have. Tropical storm force winds are, are, are about 60 miles from the center. Current winds are 45 miles per hour. Its current location is 14.8 degrees north, 67.8 degrees west. It is the pressure is 1,001 millibars. It is moving west-northwest at 14 miles per hour, and it is expected to make a hard turn to the north in the next few days as it approaches Hispaniola. A tropical storm watch has been issued for both the southern coasts of Haiti and the Dominican Republic as this is expected to move through. As we go ahead and show you the latest forecast advisory, it is expected to make landfall in Hispaniola as a 65 mile per hour tropical storm before moving off and strengthening up into a hurricane as we continue to move on by around Thursday or Friday. So this is a big threat to land and especially considering this is moving through Hispaniola where there's a lot of mountains and all that flash flooding is a big threat for you guys over there. Then we have tropical depression six. I'm not too worried about that. That's expected to weaken and dissipate in the next few a few hours or so. So we'll keep an, an eye on it. But for now, I'm not too concerned concerned about that. Next one we're showing you is Invest 91L. Currently has a 70% chance of formation in the next 48 hours. Showers and thunderstorms have increased in with and become better organized in association with a trough of low pressure in the eastern Gulf. There have been a lot of rainfall going on in Florida right now. So this is quite the interesting situation. It is organizing and developing at a rapid pace. We're not sure when this is going to become a tropical depression. Probably by tomorrow, honestly, by the looks of it. So although the NHC does have this forecasted to potentially get that to by around Tuesday as it approaches the western Gulf of Mexico coast. The earlier this develops, the better capital it has to strengthen with. And the reason being is, we'll get to it later, the conditions are great in the Gulf of Mexico. There is plenty of warm water, plenty of ocean heat content, plenty of weak wind shear, and plenty of moist air for this to work on. It just The only thing that will really get in its way from intensifying is if the storm it gets to land too fast. So that's what we have going on with there. Now we have this new tropical wave that came off the coast of Africa last night. It already has a 70% chance of formation in the next seven days. It is getting much better organized over the next few, over the last couple of hours. Environmental conditions appear conducive for gradual development, and a tropical depression is likely to form later this week while it moves west-northwestward across the eastern tropical Atlantic. So that's the whole situation we have right here. We have five systems that we need to pay attention to in the Atlantic. At least two of them pose a threat to land. One of them in the Dominican Republic in Haiti and another one for Mexico and Texas over here. So that I'm keeping a close eye on this. We're going to go ahead and show you what's working for and against all of this. So here's the situation we have. Here's the stuff that's working for it. Global sea temperatures across the Gulf of Mexico for 91L are 30 plus degrees Celsius. There's no arguing that there's plenty of, uh, of moisture, plenty of warm water for this. 
and the ocean heat content for that area, once it enters the loop current, it's going to be through a lot of OHC. So if it can develop and basically take the time to, and capitalize off of that, I could definitely see the strengthening up into a trop strong tropical storm before this approaches land over here. But we'll have to wait and see as this is a little too early to tell. In the Caribbean, waters are 28 plus degrees Celsius. Ocean heat content where Franklin is right now is around 75 to 100 ocean heat content. However, by the time it starts making that turn towards Haiti in the Dominican Republic, it enters an area of 150 OHC, and that continues all the way until it gets to the Haiti in the, in the DR. So this thing does have a chance of potential quick strengthening as time continues to go on. It'll just depend on what will happen tonight and tomorrow as this thing continues to organize. Last thing we're taking a look at is the wind shear. And the wind shear for Franklin is actually quite beneficial to it right now as it is producing a lot of inflow, a lot of outflow. And that is what's really good for this. this the shear is mainly to the north of Tropical Storm Franklin. There does appear to be shear over here, but that's mainly due to the tropical storm force winds that are going on with this. Still something to monitor, but for now, the shear is where it's at is actually doing really good for Tropical Storm Franklin. For 91L, there is a little bit of shear that is right here, but that's mainly due to inflow and outflow right there, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be too worried about that for development's sake right here. We're going to go ahead and next show you something that I've been keeping an eye on. We've had hurricane reconnaissance going into Franklin as we speak. We've been seeing some flight level winds of around 40 knots or so. SFMRs around 40 to 45 knots recently, which pr pretty much verify the 45 mile per hour tropical storm strength right there. That's why they haven't weakened it or anything like that. Pressure's fluctuating between 1,000, 2,000, and 1,001 millibars. We don't have access to any of the dropsins as of right here, but still something to pay attention to, right? Uh, to pay attention to as this continues to approach Haiti and the Dominican Republic. So now we're going to go ahead and show you some uh, pretty much the shear and moisture component right, uh, right here. We're going to go ahead and start with the shear forecast to kind of give you an idea of what's going to be going on. So here's what we have right here. The wind shear, according to the European right here, we're going to go ahead and start about next 24 hours out. The wind shear across the these two areas right here, not going to really stop any development. It's mainly inflow and outflow that's going to really keep this uh, really keep the system going. And especially prevalent with Franklin as we saw, see a lot of shear, especially to the north of it. However, it's not going to, in this instance, do much to it. It's going to actually potentially enhance organization and enhance strengthening especially as it approaches Haiti and the Dominican Republic. So then this system moves towards Texas, South Texas, near Brownsville, either as a tropical depression or tropical storm, according to the European. Wind shear is not going to stop it. The really th only thing that's going to stop it, and even the, mo even the dry air doesn't really stop it, if we go ahead and show you the moisture component, it's in a very deep, uh, moist pocket right now as we speak, and is, ex is expected to get better in the next 24 hours as this approaches Texas. So this is something we need to continue monitoring, of course. And then as we continue through this right here, we have a lot of moisture, especially with Franklin. There's not going to be much dry air to really stop this thing from developing. So we'll have to pay attention to that. But down the road, as we continue about five days out right here, really the wind shear does start weakening in the MDR. Could spell some trouble if we start seeing more development right there. But we'll have to continue to monitor it as time continues to go on. These are relatively new situations that are starting to develop. So we'll keep you updated here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. We're closing the video out right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out. It helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. And if you want to come hang out with us at Storms United and join our Discord server, link to it is right over there. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.